Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. When BMW says it builds the ultimate driving machine, it's talking about the M5. This super sedan brings nearly every tech bell and performance whistle in the brand's arsenal to bear in the pursuit of speed. This is a car that doesn't know the meaning of the word compromise. And yet, closer inspection reveals that this new M5 may not be as hardcore as it might seem. I mean, yes. With 600 horsepower beneath its sheet metal, it's pretty dang hardcore. Indeed, this is the fastest production car BMW's ever built. But the designers of this latest generation M5 have taken a few steps to make this machine easier to live with too. M Performance That monster 600 horsepower is complemented by 553 pound-feet of torque from BMW's 4.4-liter, twin-turbocharged V8 engine. That's enough power to launch from 0 to 60 mph in just 3.2 seconds, quicker than you can say oh, oh yeah. Not bad for a 4,370 pound midsize sedan. The V8 has made it to an 8-speed automatic transmission, rather than the dual clutch unit from the last generation M5. BMW says that the torque converter automatic was chosen for its smoother shifts and increased comfort around town. In its sportiest setting, the new automatic just about as quick as the DCT and doesn't get in the way of performance when hammered. The F90 generation M5 is the first to offer standard all-wheel drive. The system, which still defaults to very robust torque delivery under most conditions, helps the M5 more efficiently put its 600 ponies to the pavement. Effortless all-wheel launches without wheel spin may not seem very dramatic, but the G-Force is the M5 pulls when accelerating bring a totally different sort of drama to the driver's seat. However, the MX Drive all-wheel drive system can also be toggled to a fully rear-wheel drive mode via the iDrive menu or the M Dynamic switches. This mode offers a more traditional M5 driving experience for BMW M purists, track enthusiasts and hooligans who just want to send it. And puts howling drifts and smoky burnouts just a few tabs away. BMW recommends that you only use this mode on a track or close course, and I have to agree. Unless you're really hanging the tail out, the rear drive mode doesn't add a whole lot to the dynamics. Keeping the 2-ton M5 nice and nimble in the corners of BMW's adaptive M suspension. A lightweight aluminum double wishbone setup in the front works with a multi-link rear configuration. Electronically controlled dampers are able to go from race ready firm to daily driver compliant at the touch of a button. How I'd spec it. Part large luxury sedan, part canyon cover and part race ready tool. The 2018 BMW M5 is basically three cars in one, which is good because it costs as much as five. Starting at $104,695, including a $995 destination charge and a $1,000 gas guzzler tax, the M5 is a pricey proposition. I'm tempted to recommend the $111,995 million 5 competition trim, but the performance upgrades are only really apparent on the track, on the street, hitting 60 mph 0.1 seconds sooner isn't worth for the comfort trade-offs. Available options that most buyers will want to consider for a daily driver include the $1,700 driving assistance plus package, which adds features like adaptive cruise and lane keeping assist, and the $4,000 executive package, which loads the M5 luxuries cabin up with even more comfort amenities. Grabbing these options bumps the bottom line up to $110,395, but that price is still basically in line with the Mercedes AMG E63S, perhaps the M5's most direct and fiercest competitor. Many roadshow editors who drove both preferred the E63's refinement and will pick it over the M5 as a daily driver, high praise, I'd say. Cadillac CTSB is another compelling luxury performance option with the bonus at a price tag below six figures, though its cabin materials fall well short of bimmer and bends. It's handsomely styled, easy to live with and supremely comfortable in traffic, the M5 is a very likable car but it's also ridiculously powerful, crazy agile and capable of some unbelievable stunts. If the BMW M5 were a person, it would be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. 
If you've got deep pockets and are looking for the very best of everything BMW has to offer, heck, one of the best cars on the road, the 2018 BMW M5 is worth every penny.